Green Space Industries is a distributed, autonomous corporation that provides the infrastructure for the world of work. We initiate observational sequences of workspace. We describe and communicate our everyday lives. It is an array of bedroom factories, home offices, and traveling cubicles. Yep, this is my workspace. Self-employed. It's not very glamorous. It's definitely not clean, but that's the harsh reality of it. It is what it is. We seek to illustrate the density and togetherness of a network that is distributed and atomized around the world. A task is created using the green space terminal. Workers must submit photographs of their workspaces. A photograph of a workspace is captured. The photograph is reconstructed in three dimensions. A green space cubicle awaits its worker. That was almost two years ago. Everything seems to be going well, but it's always in the back of your hand. We must work alone in a team. Sitting back to back. We rarely talk to our colleagues. Turn, or if it's already returned and has been detected. Our office stretches across India, Ethiopia, China, America, and beyond. We find ourselves working for new employers on a daily basis. We typically wake up around 8 o'clock every morning. in the morning. Around 9 a.m. Around 7.30 on the desk. Sometimes we become the employers. The hourly reconfiguration of the production line dictates our daily work. We trade the goods and services we can provide from our workstations to a global market. We must be seen to be seen. Ceiling is sort of square Plaster pretty solid. Grows into dinner. Our ethical decisions are outsourced to individual participants in the system. Sometimes it's a bag of popcorn and a ginger beer. We must drop everything and communicate the task. Sometimes it's a salad and a piece usually of chicken. Usually consistent of like a protein, usually like chicken. It's usually just steak. some sort of chicken or pork chopped up with a bunch Maybe of vegetables. I'm drinking my dinners because I had some Must tea. not know the task. A black Pontiac G5 I drive car. a Dodge Caliber 2012. Toyota Tacoma. We travel through the city from task to task unaware of our destination. Uh, I don't really mind the trip. We find out later if the work has been worthwhile. Light incandescent. Really warm. Nice and airy. Boring. Lovely orange. Very uplifting. Love struck Romeo. Sing the streets a serenade. Laying everybody low. We must stress ourselves and express ourselves. No one near old enough to be worried about biological We contribute our hearts and our souls to our daily work. Aliens. Uh, don't worry yeah. about that at all. Uh, I'm also worried about the economy. They keep saying the economy is getting better, and I think it is slowly. But have concerns about relationships. The world of work is a flattened earth. They'll have these expectations, but I don't. It is a global competition with the human tasks of today. So I kind of figured my girlfriend. Um, is really I already don't want would love to start exercising, but I can't get myself to Just, be motivated. Uh, I fear that I'll end that, uh, both benefit me and my I fear children. that um, I don't have to go home. I have a lot of sexual side effects. I'm 41. I have sexual side effects. I'm 41. I have a lot of So overall, I work at least 18 hours a day. And I'm lucky if I draw in $50, and it seems like it's not worth it, but I don't know what else to do at this point. It feels like I have no more hopes for the future. I feel like I'm just stuck in this anxiety of trying to make enough money and knowing that I won't really be able to get there. And it feels, it feels horrible, frankly. It feels terrible.